Hey guys, well, hundreds rallied in front of the state capitol in Raleigh for a vigil to show their support for Ukraine and to advocate for the U.S. to continue to support them as well. And it's been a difficult journey for many, but they say they're going to stay in that fight as long as it takes. In two long years, life doesn't stop. Olga Fedorachev has work, a family to raise, all while worried about her family back in her home country. We just manage and we just function and we learned how in these two years to be sad, then mad, then sarcastic, and then proactive. And you just do something. You support, you help volunteer. Olga and her husband and son live in Wake Forest, but her extended family are all still in Dnipro, Ukraine, and she still has friends serving on the front line. From thousands of miles away, she still gets a pit in her stomach, seeing the alerts pop up on her phone. Missiles fly all the time, and it could be in your state, it could be towards your town. But she does what she can from across the globe. Having already been established in North Carolina, she stepped up to help refugees get settled in. We would help providing everything, like if it will be a family with a small child, we all would chip in and be like, okay, who has this, who has that? But she's also managed to make a few trips back as the war rages on, stuffing her luggage with some much needed supplies. Like one suitcase is, what is it, 50 pounds? So. Think how many tunicates you can put in it. Well, I'll tell you more than 80. <laughs> and it's not the full suitcase. So, And it's every tunicate is someone's life. And it's those lives she and others are willing to fight for. It's not like we can choose not to fight, but we're not going to be, we're not the country who will be like, you know what, we're going to step back, you guys fight. Like, we don't do that. We, we hold our front line and we hold our country. A country still standing two years later. I promise I will not complain if uh, tomorrow or today or right now Russians will pack and go, Olga, no, no bad words. So they will just go home, leave us alone. Yeah, really not holding back how she feels about the situation. And there really is a strong and thriving Ukrainian community here in Raleigh and Durham. There have been at least a thousand refugees coming to the Triangle since the start of the war. They're also urging the U.S. government to continue its aid and funding to Ukraine as that continues to be debated in Congress. Guys.